Hi, thank you very much for joining me today to learn the answer to a question that I received a bit ago. And that question written down in my notebook is, what the hey is Cafe Con Leche Cosmico? And this question comes from Cafe Con Leche Cosmico. So hello to you. Thank you very much for the question. And to be on theme with today's video, I'm making some coffee so I can enjoy myself while explaining the information. If you don't like coffee, drink like water or apple juice or something, or orange juice, whatever you got. So in terms of a very basic description or answer, who and what we're talking about today is a YouTuber who typically releases and uploads a lot of content related to like voice acting and memes. A majority of the content is typically fan dubs done in Spanish um, to popular media, especially on YouTube, to like popular series or communities. And with describing their own channel, they give like a formal greeting. So they're saying hello. And then they also do like the uwu emote. I don't think I've ever said that before, uh, but that's what they say. And that's what the channel is described as. But pretty much what you mainly need to know is that it's a lot of like voice acting related content. Now, very briefly, what I would like to introduce is some of the like analytical history behind this channel, just so you can kind of get a good idea of like the timeline of how their channel has evolved. Starting with when they joined YouTube, which was November 6th of 2018. Currently, they have an overall channel view count of around 3 million views, a community of around 21,000 subscribers and around 147 different videos. So if you've never seen the content from this channel or heard of them in general, I will have them tagged in the description so you can kind of look into them yourself if you so choose. And kind of following along with that, if you do choose to look through this channel, one of the ways to do so is by checking out their community posts, which most of those have to do with like new uploads on the channel. So like updates with the content, but they also do post random memes. Personally, I really like the random memes. There was like a random fish one of like Miguel O'Hara, but it was funny cause it was a meme. So I like that. Another way to stay up to date with what they kind of do on their channel is by checking out their other social media accounts. So like stuff outside of YouTube and for their channel, they've linked stuff like a Facebook account that they have. They have a TikTok as well as an Instagram. And I checked out a few of these and most of them have stuff similar to the channel, like memes, or they also post art. So if you like that kind of stuff, that's there as well. Now this part of the channel isn't necessarily like their own content, but it's kind of a way to look at what they're interested in. And that's like the playlist section on this channel. And it's kind of split up into different categories of content that they watch. It's not their own content. It's probably just stuff they enjoy watching. So if you kind of want to see what their interests are or like what they like to watch on YouTube, that's there as an option. Another way to kind of learn about the person behind the channel is by checking out their lives. They've uploaded a few that they've done in the past and most of them are like interacting with their fans while doing like video games so you can see how much of an epic gamer they are. Um, but then they also kind of show the process of like doing voice acting. So if you kind of like longer form content, those are available to check out. And then one of the last ways to look at the content aside from the main channel uploads is by checking out their shorts, which most of them are like very short, obviously memes or it's like short fan dubbed content. So if you don't want to check out the longer videos that they do, uh, they have like smaller and quicker options to watch. So that's easier. And if you like that kind of stuff, there you go. And finally, now I can actually talk about some specific examples of videos from this channel, just so you can kind of see what they typically upload, starting with the oldest video on the channel, which is titled My Third Claymation, which was uploaded on September 1st of 2019. The newest video is titled The Amazing Digital Circus Espanol Latino Fan Dub, which was uploaded on October 12th of 2023. And then the most popular video is titled Meet Friday Night Funkin' Animation Fan Dub, Espanol Latino, which was uploaded on March 12th of 2021 and has around 387,000 views. And I guess my only question about any of this information is about what happened to the first two claymation videos, because the first one's really cool. It's like this little claymation dude that gets like eaten by a spider or something, and it looks cool. So what happened to those? I don't know. Um, but anyways, those videos are on the channel if you kind of want to watch them and look through their actual content. 
So to get into my general opinion, one of the first things that I noticed about this channel, because I'm a very visual person, is their actual like profile picture, which usually I don't mention that about channels, but I feel like with this one, I looked at the like profile picture and I was like, that's really cool. Which I looked through some of the art that they posted on like Instagram and stuff and like Facebook and I really like their style. So I'm not sure whether or not this channel commissioned someone to make their profile picture because it looks a little different, but either way, it's very cool. Another thing that I noticed about this channel, obviously, is the fact that they do fan dubs, which if you don't know what those are, that's basically someone dubbing over the lines or like material of some kind of like movie show, what have you, in their own language. That's typically what the case is for that kind of content. But anyways, what I noticed with this channel is that they do fan dubs for a variety of communities and kind of series online and stuff, whether that's like Cuphead, Friday Night Funkin', they've done Hell of a Boss, um, and then some like random memes. So it's not one specific franchise or whatever, it's multiple different kinds of things, which whether or not that's like their interest, like they're interested in a series, so they do fan dubs for it, I don't know. But I, I'm glad that there's like a variety. It's like there's different stuff you can check out. And then of course, probably the most important factor about all of this is the fact that they do like voice acting and fan dub stuff. So their microphone quality is really good. And then also their voice is like very clear and it's very deep. And when I first started to listen to their stuff, I was like, wow, my voice can't be like that. That's impressive. So honestly, for me, it's just the fact that someone can do that kind of thing in a professional way because I don't talk professionally. I say bruh all the time and then my voice sounds like this. So like props to you, 10 out of 10. And then I guess another random thing that I thought of while looking through this channel or really the first time I looked at it, I thought of that Pitbull song like Cafe Con Leche and I really like that song. So I guess that's why I like this channel because I like that song. I also like coffee. I also like fan dub stuff because I can't do it. So, you know, props to anyone who does. Um, and once again, I will have this channel linked and kind of tagged in the description. So if you want to check them out for yourself, that will be there. Uh, but that essentially is the answer to the question. So thank you very much for learning with me and checking out this video. So thank you once again. Bye.